Hi everyone, welcome back to the next part of the Wimmick build. So, as you can see, the actual Land Rover is now finished along with the figures. So the next part, what uh, I'm going to tackle is the base. So, I'll just um, get this thing out of the way. So, as you can see here, we have a very nice plaster base, which is made by this company here behind me. Anybody who's not sure. RT Diorama company we came across when we was in Eindhoven a few years ago so looks really nice comes out of uh, produced in Germany I think made in Germany there's some really really nice buildings um, different sorts of um, sort of steps and accessories as well really nicely cast so we'll tackle that what I've done as well is just mounted it on a piece of XPS foam straight out of Amazon to be honest um, and then just cut that to sort of size. I've got to do a little bit of trimming at the back and then what I'm going to do is, is sort of put some boarding around it just to obviously neaten it all up. A bit of balsa wood or plywood or something, probably plywood I think for this time. Get that to level. So just to smile it up, it just gives that nice bit of height with, with bases which I like. I do like them rather than, than being quite flat to the uh, to the desk or bench or whatever they're on okay so plan with this is is obviously I'm going to whack some primer on it some black primer black base this up and then we'll go for some um, sort of stone colors obviously I'm um, going to use the box art as a bit of a guide so there's a lovely color called stone gray from Vallejo which will be sort of probably the base coat for the wall and the and the sort of pavement and then this part here, I'm never quite struck on the textured kind of look what they've put in. So that's going to be covered up with, with one of the uh, sort of based products or basing products, probably the AK one. And then I'm going to add some fine sand and some texture. And, you know, it's going to have a few accessories sort of scattered around just to sort of fill it. So obviously there's a bit of a blank space around the back. We're definitely going to need something for that, which I've not quite decided. And also, I'm not so bothered about this. I'm thinking of just blocking this off. Another put, put another bit of XPS foam in there, and then just, you know, cutting that level, and um, and and then just obviously boarding back that off. Because again, we can probably just put some sort of foliage or whatever at the top there, like the top of the wall. Like I said, that's the the only downside with plaster buildings is obviously the backside of it, how they cast. It. There's never any you know anything on it it's blank so again if you do want to scribe it, it's not hard stuff if you did want to you know make your own but for this case i'm not so bothered so i think that's it so yeah i'm gonna get cracked on we'll get it in the spray bay give it a coat of primer just um be aware if you've got this sort of xps foam it does melt with lacquer paints so i'm going to be using one of the polyurethane black surface primers either the ak one or i've got a an overlayer one which is perfect for this it'll give it a nice coat to sealer on the plaster and then and then obviously like i said we can get cracked on with the, with the proper painting and weathering of it so without further ado let's move over to the spray bay and get to uh, and get started so moved over in spray bay i'm going to use just the ak black primer this is the the older version compared to the new gen 3 but it will do for what i need for this so just give it a damn good shake and make it all up make sure it's all thoroughly mixed and then i'm just going to shoot some in the airbrush test so basically just a light coat just to get a rough base coat down I 
make sure you're getting all the nooks and crannies because that's where you're going to want the shadow. We're going to use this as a shadow colour at the edges. Okay, don't worry too much about obviously down there because you're not going to see that. You can also paint the back as well. today so really you know it should be flashing off quite quick so we'll do a full coat this time so making sure you're getting all the nooks and crannies So there we go, primer's on. I'm gonna put that to one side for a good few hours, let that go off, let that dry, fully cure. And, um, and then we'll come back and like I say, start basing it up with the, the stony colors that we're gonna use. So yeah, stay tuned. So come out of the spray booth, we've obviously got a coat of black primer on this as you can see. And um, next task is to just do a bit of texturing on this sort of road surface. So basically what I've got here is just some fine sand. So there's different grades, but you know, this is just gonna add a bit of, like I say, a bit of texture. What I'm gonna do is just apply it with some Mod Podge, which I've watered down. Here, as you can see, just into just you know, it's just white glue watered down, really. So, we've got two grades here, which is ultra fine and super fine. So, as you can see, it is really, really quite fine sand, but it's going to just add a bit of life to this root texture again. Just a fine brush. What we're going to do is just brush this on where we need it. Okay, we're going to do little bits at a time, not too much. As you can see, I'll put it in a box so I can just catch any loose sand. So, okay, and whichever way you want to do it, you know, we're just going to sprinkle some on. We'll get a, another brush. You want an old brush for this? This one will do. Okay, and then just brush it about where you were. Uh, might be easy just to sprinkle it on where you want your sand to be. And then any excess will not back off into the box so we can reuse. So, do that. So I say what we're doing is just um, just adding a bit of a bit of life to this. I say it's really really fine so you know
probably save it actually thinking about it there's probably more a lot more efficient ways of putting this on than what I'm doing so you know feel free to do it your way I'm just going to try and get some some sand on there knock off any excess I'm trying to just keep it out of the um, the tracks because obviously me the land it can sit sit in those ruts. So yeah, you just, um, if you're doing your base, you just sort of carry on, do it how you want to do it. So I'm going to put some in there as well, obviously, where the wall meets the pavement, because obviously any sand that would, um, obviously be blown around would, would get into the nooks and crannies all around there. Again, just we put put a little bit more I'm gonna let it dry put another probably layer on just to, just to um, just to build it up a little bit give it another coat of primer just to unify it and then like I said we can then go back into the spray brood and um, you know start putting the base coats down So back in the spray bay, as you can see, I've just knocked up a base colour. All right, out of these Tamiya colours, so like 60, 52, 55 and 63. Again, this is no precise measuring. This is just going to be, like I say, just to get a, a foundation coat down before we move on to the next step. So again, don't be too hung up on this because there's going to be lots and lots of other layers that uh, that cover this lot up. So mainly this colour I'm going to use sort of on the road surface and then I'm going to do variations of with these colours. So XF20, 57 buff and 55 deck tan. Just add in, mix in, like I say, just to get a stony sort of concrete effect for the wall. Same for the sort of path sidewalk bit and then obviously a more sort of um, 
bleached out sandy colour for the for the road surface. So airbrush ready. Just gonna uh, chop a bit in. As you can see, you've just got the start of that going on. What I'm going to do is just flick the um, extractor on. It's going to get a bit smoky in here. Um, carry on, obviously get a, a decent base coat down. And then, um, and what I'll do, I'll just film it. I'll just film it in sections. I'm not going to like commentate on it. I'll just go through and you can you can see what I'm doing. And then obviously we can uh, move back to the to the other bench and then carry on doing the, the brush work. So let's crack on.
So we've got the basic basic tones down, as we can see. So we have started off with the airbrush just highlighting a few sort of um, you know separate elements, what's on the base. So you know, like obviously the curb stones are a little bit lighter. A couple of the um, obviously the paving slabs as well, or paving stones, which everyone look at it. Um, that'll just give it a little bit of a roadmap. You want a bit of variation on that. So next job is to, especially for this pot, I'm not so bothered about this. This is going to um, probably have more pigments on it, I think now. Because when the Land Rover's on, as you can see, there's not a massive amount anyway. You're going to see this front corner and this, this sort of back bit anyway um, so that's going to be covered up well that's going to be sort of pigments washers just to bring out sort of the tracks and stuff like that so really what I want to concentrate on is obviously the wall and the and the pavement so like I said I'm going to crack open the wet palette get some similar colours to what I've, I've laid down already and um, and then obviously we'll, we'll bring that to life <laughs> 